Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's try this one. Draw a line segment of length 12.8 cm using compass divided into 4 equal parts. Verify by actual measurement. Okay, so first let's draw a line segment of length 12.8 cm using a ruler. So let's say this is the line segment of the desired length, okay. Now we have to divide it into four equal parts. So let's say that this is AB. Now just a rough sketch here. So if this is AB and you want to divide it into four equal parts, how will you do that? So what we can do is first let's draw a perpendicular bisector. So what will the perpendicular bisector do? It will be perpendicular to AB and it will also divide AB into two equal parts. So let's say it, it intersects AB at point C such that AC is equal to CB. So you have divided AB into two equal parts. But how many parts do you want to divide it? Four equal parts. So for that what you can do is again draw a perpendicular bisector of AC. So you can draw a perpendicular bisector of AC. So this will divide AC into two equal parts such that AD is equal to DC. Similarly, you draw a perpendicular bisector of BC like this such that CE is equal to EB. So now if you look at the line segment AB, it is divided into four equal parts that is AD, DC, CE and EB. So we are going to do the same thing here. So even though it might sound complex, but it is very simple. You just need to remember the steps to draw perpendicular bisector. So let's start. So let's draw perpendicular bisector of AB. So you consider A as the center and radius slightly greater than half AB. So half the length of AB is suppose this, this. So you slightly take more radius and then draw a circle like this. Similarly, consider B as the center, slightly more radius than half the length of AB, draw us another circle. Now these two circles, they intersect at these two points, this point and this point. So join these two points and what do you see? You see that this point passes through the center of the circle. So this point is C. So C is the midpoint of AB. Therefore, you can say AC is equal to CB. Perfect. Now let's draw a perpendicular bisector of AC. So for that again what we will do, take compass A as the center, radius slightly greater than midpoint of AC. That means if this is the midpoint, so slightly more than that, draw a circle. Similarly, considering C as the center, radius slightly greater than half the length of AC, draw another circle and these two circles again they intersect at these two points. So jo join these two points. So you get perpendicular bisector of AC. So this is our point D. So from this we can say AD is equal to DC. In a similar fashion, let's draw perpendicular bisector of BC. So with C as the center, radius slightly greater than half BC, draw a circle. Again, with B as center, radius slightly greater than half BC, draw another circle. These two circles, they intersect each other at these two points, join these two points. So, if this point is E, such that CE is equal to EB. Therefore, we can say that AD is equal to BC is equal to CE is equal to BE. So we have successfully divided the line segment AB into four equal parts. So if you want, how will you verify this measurement? By using a ruler. Take a ruler, measure each part separately and you would see that all of their measurements would be equal. Let's look at this one. Draw AB of length 7.3 centimeters and find its axis of symmetry. So what exactly is axis of symmetry for a line segment? Now axis of symmetry is that line along which if you divide the entire line segment into two halves, the two halves would be identical and they would be mirror images of each other. That is they would cover each other completely when overlapped. So that is the axis of symmetry. So this very clearly proves that an axis of symmetry has to divide the line segment into two equal halves. So let's say that you have a line segment of length 7.3 centimeters 
So this is AB of length 7.3 centimeters. So what could be that line which would divide AB into two equal halves such that the two equal halves would exactly cover each other when folded. So what could be that line? Absolutely, that could be nothing but the perpendicular bisector because perpendicular bisector bisects the line. That means it divides the line into two equal halves. So let's draw the perpendicular bisector. Same process again. A as center, radius slightly greater than half AB, draw a circle. B as center, radius slightly greater than half AB, draw a circle. Points where the two circles intersect, join those two points together. So you get a line which is a perpendicular bisector and this line is also the axis of symmetry for the line segment AB. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.